What's up guys, welcome back to Ever RC. So I've been looking for a better soldering iron and so happened Banggood sent me one, they have this to review, it's a secure uh, SQ001. So I've been using lousy and cheap soldering iron and the issue that I face is uh, long heating time and also a very terrible uh, soldering tip that doesn't last long. And a lot of people in the RC hobby recommend this uh, TS100. But price is uh, to me is a little bit high at uh, 50 US dollar. Whereas this alternative only about 39 US dollar. So I've already started using it, and I'm gonna show you uh, its features and what I think about this soldering iron. So for anyone new into RC, getting a soldering iron is a very essential tool. So it came in this box with the soldering tip and the body separated. You have to install this yourself by uninstalling the screw here first. There's a manual with really good English. There's this uh, soldering stand where you can flip up this frame over here so that you can rest soldering iron here and with this sponge that you have to add water. So this is a 65 watt soldering iron that can be powered by 12 volt to 24 volt power input which means it supports 3S to 6S so you can hook this up to your 3S to 6S uh, RC battery with an XC60 connector. So very convenient, you can use this at home, you can also use this outdoor just in case. So this is where you hook it up. Now what I look for in a soldering iron is the heating speed uh, to the preset temperature and also the lifespan of the soldering tip. But in this case, we're going to do a long-term test to see how uh, good this is. Otherwise, you can purchase uh, this tip separately as well. I'll put a link in the description where you can check out a different design of uh, soldering tip for different uh, soldering purpose, whether it's with a blunt tip or with a sharp tip that is compatible with this model. In terms of appearance and design, it looks very, very similar to the TS100, which everyone know of. Same button, same uh, electronic interface, same grounding and the tip as well, the design. So I wonder if they are same supplier, OEM, or maybe a copy of the TS100. I'm not sure. So I have a 4S battery here to test. This is a large battery, but of course we can use a much smaller one. And we're gonna find out uh, what is the M draw of this, which is pretty small. All right, so I'm gonna hold it up. But when you hook it up, it won't heat up first. You will have to press the button first. So this is like a well safety feature. And so there's no M draw now. And you show press. So to start it up, you need to press uh, button A. And let's see what is the M draw like. And also how fast it hit up, hits up. So it's 25 Celsius now. We are in an air conditioned room. Uh, cold tip. And preset temperature is 3M. Uh, it's 300 Celsius. So look at the M draw, it's hitting up so it takes a long, it takes more current. So it's 200, the logo shows that it's uh, hitting up. So once it's stable, this is a logo that says uh, the temperature has achieved. And uh, temp the current draw fluctuate as well. So it's doing like less than 1 amp uh, fluctuating. I think it's uh, modulating the temperature. As it drops, then you just immediately heat it up to the preset temperature. So to adjust the temperature, very easy. Just hold the right button if you want to increase the temperature to 400. So start heating up again and drawing more current to go up to 400. So that's really quick. I think we did it in about uh, 11 seconds. Depending on the voltage that of solar iron that you use, uh, the heating speed will vary. I'll show it to you on uh, the manual that says uh, heating time and we're not going to use 400 because we're going to do a small test first and when we solder a large wire we're going to use 400 celsius so to go down again just hold the button let's say on 300 and press again okay 300 then just let it go then then it will drop the temperature so logo is showing it dropping the temperature and there's very low current draw or maybe zero as it's cool down very good and instead of so it shows the version and instead of pressing uh, a to start using it we're going to press b so over here you can see uh, the other data like what is the input voltage so 13.7 is pretty low uh, for 4s so i'm going to put on a buzzer to my battery to not uh, over drain it Temperature is dropping because uh, it's not heating up now. Press left again. Factory is set. Wake up temperature. So, so this is your preset temperature. 
uh, when it's when it's turned on and uh, standby temperature 200 sleep time 180 which is 3 minute idle time 360 temperature step 10 yep so whenever you hold this button you step uh, by 10 degrees celsius off voltage will be 10 so this is low voltage cut off we're gonna adjust it since most likely i'm gonna use 4s so i'm gonna bump it up to 14.2 i believe oh so the max uh, off voltage is uh, 12 volt so that will be a 3 volt per cell for a 3 cell battery this is to reverse the display so let's hold the button so it has reversed the display so i'm gonna reboot and uh, let's do the real test which is so the ring so this is the version press button a and then you will go to the preset temperature of 300 degrees celsius I have a very cool octopus assistant here with six claws. So I'll share the link on where you can buy this as well. So we're gonna test this by soldering this uh, XT60 battery connector. So we are using 10, 300 degrees Celsius. See. So it does. Uh, the solder does melt really easily. Very easy solder. The other side. Should be very easy as well. So the tip is actually very hot enough to ease it. So as you can see, solder is really nice. So the solder is able to melt easily and solder onto the component. So we are gonna solder some thin gauge wire and see whether it works well or not. This one could be harder to solder compared to this due to the different wire without using any soldering paste. Well, it sticks very well as well, so I believe this would be even better. Yep. Yeah, this is really good though. So good soldering iron makes soldering much easy. Look at this. Well, this sticks, sticks very evenly as well. This doesn't happen with my other cheap uh, soldering iron. So we have a 10 gauge here. And the key to soldering very thick gauge wire is your tip has to be really really hot and we're going to try this without any soldering paste and see if that works so i'm going to increase the temperature to 400 degrees celsius just by holding it then once it once it has confirmed then you'll start uh, bumping up to 300 degrees celsius so it's really fast this is what i'm really uh, looking for yeah so a blunt tip will probably works better so i think still not enough so we're gonna try uh, using double paste and see and that should help really well and we're also in an air conditioned room so maybe there is a lot of uh, heat uh, dissipation the solder drips drips down So you have to apply the soldering tip on the wire itself for a long time so that all the heat is transferred to the whole wires so all the solder will cover the whole wires so the verdict should you get one well if you don't have any soldering iron if you're new to rc you should definitely get one this is a very very essential tool and even a cheap one like 10 US dollar there is some of it i'm not saying all some doesn't last well some if you're lucky last very well so if you like to buy one might as well buy a decent one and this no longer costs 50 US dollar like a TS100 this is by uh, I think Secure SQ001 this costs only about 39 US dollar which I believe can last you a very long time and you can change the tip as well with a pretty decent tip but for well large gauge uh, wire soldering i believe you need blunt tip or maybe a more powerful version of this because you need a lot more heat to solder a very thick gauge another good thing is that you can carry this to the field and comes to the things that i don't like which is uh this wiring they are rather stiff and also uh it doesn't come with a proper soldering stand no issue i have one it would be better to have a proper uh, soldering station that you can just plug this in and then uh, pull it out and then start soldering with the correct uh, hand posture so that's all for my video if you like this video please like and subscribe you can buy me coffee as well if you find this uh, helpful in deciding a soldering iron and i'll see you on next video bye so if you'd like to get the same one you can check out the link in the description